few will ever come close to Clan Scryer's preeminent inventor, whose name is carved into history through his deadly machines of destruction. Ikit Claw is a mad tinker rat obsessed with the pursuit of technology. Ikit is the only Skaven with access to the infamous Doom Sphere, an immense warpstone bomb powerful enough to completely destroy any settlement it is constructed below. I bet you're wondering how. It utilizes a new Skaven feature called the Under Empire, available to all Total War Warhammer 2 players for free as part of the next game update. Using Warlock Engineer Heroes, you can sow the seeds of your Under Empire and install various Skaven infrastructure behind enemy lines. There are four building slots and a brand new selection of buildings to cobble together underneath the claws of your enemies. Ratkind will have to skulk carefully in the caverns below as unchecked expansion will increase your likelihood of being discovered. Check out our Reddit AMA for the juicy details on this new layer of gameplay available to all owners of Total War Warhammer 2. At level 1, Ikit can begin leveling into the Power Armor branch of his skill tree, boosting the capabilities of his mechanized, warp fuel infused iron frame in a multitude of ways. Ikit can also level up to mount a deadly Doom Flare or an equally destructive Doom Wheel. You may pick your poison. The sheer annihilation accessible to Ikit doesn't come without considerable resource and determination. Enter the infamous Forbidden Workshop. Clan Scryer players can spend resources to upgrade various units such as Doom Wheels, Doom Flares and weapons teams with powerful new enhancements. As we focus our resources into different aspects of the workshop, we work towards a separate layer of rewards and augments, and eventually, new regiments of renown unique to the Forbidden Workshop. Workshop progress requires food and warp fuel, a new resource gathered after battles. The Forbidden Workshop's capabilities can be further amplified with the completion of tasks and missions. As you can see here, we just reached the third tier of the workshop's nefarious capabilities, and we have quite a bit of warp fuel to spend. Let's use it to start buffing our Doom Flayers with a number of horrible accompaniments that make them yet more deadly and even quicker at murdering. Our weapons teams are already fully kitted out with the best Clan Scryer has to offer. The mad scientists in our workshop have tinkered their way into developing not only new loot we can equip to our most elite units, but also superior regiments of renown that are only available in campaign. They are simply too powerful to balance for multiplayer. The Doom Sphere is not the only weapon of mass destruction at Ikit's disposal. He can also harness the power of the Warp Storm Doom Rocket, perhaps the most powerful weapon wielded by any of the races of Warhammer 2. A single Doom Rocket is capable of wiping out multiple units in a single strike in an incinerating mushroom cloud. The Rattling Gun Weapons Team is a specialist anti-infantry gun team bearing the rotating rapid-fire Rattling Gun. Rattling Guns are heavy damage dealers which also suppress their targets, slowing their movement. Warplock Gisales, on the other hand, are long-range, armor-piercing sniper infantry. These sharpshooters have the highest quality shields and their projectiles confer the shield breaker contact effect. Both build out of the Arsenal building after the Tier 4 Grand Warren has been constructed. Doom Flares are smaller than the Doom Wheel, but revel in disrupting enemy infantry with powerful armor-piercing damage. Unlike chariots, these nimble bringers of destruction can do massive damage, even when completely surrounded and are also a mount option for the new Warlock Master Lord type. Let's take a look at some of those regiments of renown unique to the Forbidden Workshop. The Eye Taker's Enhanced Gisales deal increased damage and blind their targets, reducing their accuracy, melee attack and melee defense. The Death Dealers are the Rattling Gun Perfected. These weapons teams fire their hails of bullets at longer range, dealing greater damage and with reduced reload times. Check out Italian Spartacus and Turin's quick roster breakdown linked in the YouTube cards for more gory details. My rattlings are frothing with murderous rage and my death machines are primed. Limbs will fly. Ikit isn't the only new kid on the block. Watch out for the Coldblood's divine new abilities.
the great serpent god Sotek may sleep, but to Henowin, his most devoted prophet, does not. Tune in to our official channels on the 17th to see him and the cult of Sotek in action. If you want to get your paws on the Prophet and Warlock DLC pack as soon as it's available, pre-order it now for 10% off.